prisoners who have been charged with nothing and use that as evidence. You are on the wrong side of history. Two million people starving right now. The Israel organization, does not have the right chair, the congressman from New Jersey, Mr. Smith, is it does not have the starving, starving people. It's people that have childbirth without anesthesia. Kids that are having to have their arms amputated because of Israeli, Israeli attacks. Horrible attacks that have killed 26,000 people. That have killed 10,000. Okay, don't hurt my arm. Don't hurt my arm. Don't hurt my arm. I'm 77 years old. I'm an Army colonel. I'm a retired diplomat, and what the U.S. is doing, the Biden administration, is part of the genocide. It's a genocide that the Biden administration is complicit in. The Biden is administration is complicit in genocide. It is killing people just as the Israelis are. It's our weapons. It's our money. It's our money that's doing this. And the money for UNRWA is very important to keep people from starving to death after we're trying to kill them all. Two million people that are there crammed into a tiny part of Gaza and we're trying to kill them, starve them to death, and all of the people that need medical care and need help and they're not giving it, we're killing them. I, I interrupted this program that they're having, that the Congress has on UNRWA, a, a, an organization that's critical for Palestinian survival in Gaza. Critical for that, the health, the education, the, the medical care. Easy, easy, I really bruise, I bruise. Yeah. I've been to Gaza 10 different times. I've been there to see the destruction of earlier times when the Israelis were killing people. Uh, it's just terrible what's going on right now. About 26,000 people that have been killed, 10,000 kids that have been killed, all of these people that are undergoing you know, amputations with no medicine, uh, anesthesia, nothing, and then the starving, these kids that are starving to death, that there's no food, that they're, they're not letting the food in. And then the Biden administration, I mean, we give them weapons, we're killing them with weapons, we're killing them with no food, it's just, Please do not defund UNRWA. It's a lifeline. Right it was established in 1948 for the refugees of Palestine. It's a death sentence. They're already starving. They're already starving. Please don't defund UNRWA. Please don't defund UNRWA. Again, most of this is not Please, information. Please, don't be fun, Unra. Many Please, Please, I'm begging you, for the children of Gaza, for the mothers of Gaza. It's the only thing that's I keeping them going. You, I've got a broken finger. Please, don't be fun, Unra. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please, please, I'm begging you. Don't be fun, Unra. It's what's keeping the Palestinians alive. It's the only food and water they're receiving. It's the only medicine they're receiving. They don't get anything from Israel. They're, they're and that was the chance. They, they were told by the international court that they had It's what's keeping the Palestinians alive. Israel's Israel starving them to death. They're starving them. They're depriving them of water and medicine. They bombed them. They've killed over 11,000 children. They, they killed 27,000 people. <laughs> oh, Recognizes well, the chairman of the subcommittee on global health, another. global human rights, and international Israel organizations. The chair, right the congressman from New Jersey, Mr. Smith, for his opening statement. Thank you very Please much, Chairman. Personally, thank you. I, 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 I have an important message for you. Please don't that is. Not defund Rudwa. It's the only agency that's capable of managing to provide services. There's no other agency large enough to have the capacity to meet the need of the genocide that's happening to the Gazan people. The Palestinians in Gaza are dying who has a long time plan of getting rid of the lifeline for the Palestinians. You cannot take the word of Israel who is torturing
torturing prisoners who have been charged with nothing and use that as evidence. UNRWA has been the lifeline for the Palestinian people since Israel was created and pushed them off their land. This is how they have survived. Israel has long been trying to get rid of this agency that provides food, water, shelter, health care, medicine. And now this is the chance. They were told by the International Court that they had to stop the genocide and that they had to provide humanitarian assistance. And their response the same day was to get the United States and some other of their followers to cut funding for the lifeline for the Palestinian children, mothers, women, the people, our innocent civilians. This is sick and it is wrong and we have to stand up as Americans and say that we object, that we won't have our tax dollars funding this genocide and that we won't be quiet while the U.S. cuts funding for humanitarian assistance for people who desperately need it. What's your name? Cheryl Barnes. Thank Honor you, Cheryl. the Earth. Free Palestine! Blood on your hands! Shame on you! This is a genocide! You are starving two million people to death! This is a genocide and you are responsible for it! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Cease fire now! Cease fire now! Shame on you! You are killing people! You are killing innocent people! You are killing innocent people! We will never forgive you for this! We will never forgive you for this! You are on the wrong side of history! You are on the wrong side of history! Shame on you! Shame on all of you! Shame on you! Ellie, why are you being arrested? Because I'm trying to stop a genocide. These people are enabling a genocide. Shame on them. They're on the wrong side of history. They're starving people to death. America is complicit in this genocide by stopping UNRWA funding, which is the only lifeline the Palestinians have at the moment. We are starving them to death. We are, we are enabling a genocide. Shame on Biden. Shame on our Congress people. This is a genocide and we're gonna say no. We're gonna say no.